Ingrid Elric makeup tutorial. Just a heads up, for this tutorial I will be doing the makeup tutorial, the wig review, and also showing the wig styling. And by wig styling, I mean a wig journey. Like, guys, it was hardcore. So to start off with Ed Boy, I am applying my foundation. And then I go right in and apply my concealer to my under eyes and highlight areas. Then I go into my eyes and just put on a basic nude shade on my eyelids and upper brow bone to just kind of start as like a base layer for the other contouring I'll be doing because Edward has these really weird big kind of slanty eyes and to get those weird kind of slanty eye looks I make my eyes look a little bit more hollow and masculine as well as elongating them out onto the sides to kind of make them seem a bit winged and slanty because Ed's just got A, a very weird eye shape, and B, just a very weird face shape. Like, Edward Elric is structured very weirdly, <laughs> okay? So, um, just make this work however the best, uh, however you can with your face. This is what works best for my face. Edward's got a very weird face, so just try to accommodate his weird features to your face best you can, if any of that makes sense. And now we're going into weird Elric facial contouring. I already kind of look like Ed, as is, so I more or less just make myself look like a dude, and uh, to do that, I make my nose more prominent, hollow, hollow out my eyes, um, but not too much. I just kind of make my brow bone look a bit more defined than it actually is, accentuate my cheekbones, jawline, just really shade around these like areas to make my face look more uh, deep and defined and all that good stuff. Then I go in with some just basic foundation powder. I like to do this kind of to kind of like smooth out all of the uh, contouring stuff I've already done. And then I also add on just a little bit of highlighter. By that I mean my lightest shade that I have on my contour kit. We are not adding actual highlighter, Shia LaBeouf. All right, so for those weird Elric eyebrows, I more or less just fill mine in but make them look more masculine. By that, I mean I just make them look more thick and frame those lovely, more deep-set eye sockets that I have contoured. That's about it. And for this last little bit, I'm just adding some upper eyeliner on my upper lid. Um, this is just to give my eyes just a little bit more dimension. And they do this, like, all the fucking time in movies, so it's not, like, you know, any weird shit. But, yeah. And now on to the wig styling and review. So, this is the fun part of the tutorial where I talk about... Product placement! So on the Instagram, Fesh Finn contacted me and was like, hey, do you want to review one of our wigs? And I was like, yo, let me troll around on your wig site and see if there's any wigs I want to review. And they did have a 360 lace front wig that looked like would work for Edward Elric because let's face it, if you've been watching my Full Metal stuff for a while or if you personally know me and I've seen that wig in person, my Edwig desperately needs to be replaced. So that's why we have this. I saw online and this wig looks really great and I had been in contact and speaking with other collaborators about using 360 wigs for cosplay tutorials and stuff like that, but for some reason they're like, cosplayers and 360 wigs are not something we ever want to touch, and I'm like, that's weird, but Fesh Finn was willing to take the plunge and work with a cosplayer with one of their beautiful 360 wigs. I'm going for a more golden color, a more natural color, um, as a few of you guys who have been on the channel for a while know, I like to make my cosplays look like as realistic as possible, so I try to make my wigs look as natural as possible when I can with the character because there's some characters like Chibi Moon like let's face it nobody has naturally pink hair yet so I'm very excited to review this wig and talk about this wig and use this wig for this cosplay and I just wanted to open this you know just just do that you know on here and all that good stuff um, I've never used a 360 before um, so this should be fun uh, disclaimer I have already ripped into this packaging because right when I got it I tore open tore it open in the mail and was like holy fuck I want to see this wig and I was very excited to see this wig so here it is 
It is a darker golden blonde color. The lighting we have here just makes hair, like, it makes my hair look more brassy than it actually is. It's like a very deep golden blonde. Um, I'm so used to my platinum ass Edward Elric wig with just like one basic ass wig color, blonde color that I ratchetly put extensions into, like it's a hot mess. So it's very weird seeing like a nice pretty virgin wig that has been untouched by my vile, vile little hands. <laughs> but they're not as little as Trump's. So if you're like me, you may think Hmm, so a 360 lace front wig, that's probably just got some lace all the way around. It's got a normal cap, right? Well, you would be wrong, and I was wrong, and I kind of just stared at it for about five minutes until Rachel was like, what were you expecting? <laughs> they do not have a wig cap because they are meant to like, you know, look like you have a ponytail up or something. My idea is to be able to use this for when Ed has his hair up into the high braid, uh, not braid, high ponytail, and as well as a braid, and from me just preliminarily fucking around with it. I'm pretty sure I can get this into a braid. So here it is. It's in all of its glory. It is wavy, which we will be straightening it. The lace goes all the way around and it goes as far into it as, as this. The lace is probably about like seven to eight inches here. Um, and it extends into the like depth of the hair. It also has these little adjuster things right here for adjusting it to your head. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's really soft and it feels really natural just looking at it. It looks really fucking natural. I'm gonna trim the lace off of it and then stick it on my head and talk about it while it's sitting on my head. To cut a 360 wig or any wig for that matter, you literally just follow the hairline all the way around as close to the hairline as possible. With this one, you gotta watch out for these baby hairs. It's got like a ton of little bitty baby hairs, which is A, to make it look more realistic, and B, um, to make it look super realistic. So, with the help of Ratchet, we have now cut off the lace, and we'll now put the lace, the 360 lace front on. So, this little band here indicates that this is the part that goes at the nape of the neck, and then the part that does not have the band indicates that is where it goes like on the top of your head. So, you put it on like that. And then adjust it to your head. Low key look like Shakira, high key kind of okay with that. So I'm just gonna brush it out. Here it is, brushed out in all of its glory. And then here's what it looks like from the back. There should be a gaping hole. The idea behind these is to gather them up into ponytails and, you know, really utilize that 360 lace ability. So now I'm going to work on styling this for Ed. Um, this will be a journey. I hope you're willing to go on it with me. I hope we come out of this alive and uh, with a wig that looks like Ed. And Kevin, please don't chew on the box. Thank you, sir. So this is what it looks like straightened. This is how it looks curly. For it feels thicker when it's straightened, oddly enough. Can you not? <laughs> Evan! Thank you. So I'm feeling better about being able to style this into Ed's braid and then also be able to style the bangs into Edward's bangs and the battery's about to die, so the dog's playing with shit.
So, we may have cracked why they do not give cosplayers 360 wigs. Because they look like this. So, I'm hoping that I can make this not ding the fuck out after a few days fucking around with it. So we will have, hopefully, a jump cut in the next few minutes of me being like, oh, well, okay, so I got it to work. Um, yeah, hopefully. So, I'm hoping that I'll be able to make this look the way I want it to, but no promises. This may just be like, let's... Like, I can, I got the braid to behave. Like, you know, the braid don't, don't, doesn't look half bad. The bangs are a godforsaken mess. But this is no fault of a fesh fins, aside from giving me a wig. So, I mean, the wig itself is, like, a really good quality, and I really like the color. Um, I'm not liking how it's behaving with being cut, but this wig is probably not intended for you to be cutting this close around the bangs and forming bangs and shaping bangs. It's late at night, I feel like shit. And they're hopefully going to, uh, fix it. Yep. And I am done crying over this wig because, so, uh, last night it kind of looked not cute and I had no idea if I was going to be able to fix it because the bang area would not relax and I'm like, okay, maybe 360s aren't meant to have bangs or anything aside from it being pushed up back into like a ponytail or updo. Um, but after giving it a bath, it did what I wanted this morning. Now I am like 100% happy with it because I got the bangs to do my bidding and Kevin's trying to eat things off the coffee table. I'm really happy with this wig. It looks really realistic. It's the color that I want. It does not look this brassy in person, it unlike Rachel. Looks the same. Does. It does not. So I'm happy with how natural it looks. Um, the only downside is it is really thin. Kevin. Calvin. Calvin. Kevin. What these wigs are meant to do. Isn't that right, Kevin? Cha, 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 cha. He's misbehaving, so we're gonna hold him. Um, but yeah, so otherwise, it is great. It, I finally got it to do what I wanted it to do. So if you guys are trying to style a 360 in a way that 360s really aren't supposed to style, 10 out of 10 recommend giving it a bath. Like Kevin. Kevin needs a bath. So I'm really happy with this wig. His name's Calvin, but we call him Kevin. No, just you. Just I call him. You called him Kevin this morning. I called him Calvin. What are you talking about? I called him Kevin. So thank you so much to Feshfin for taking a chance on me, a cosplayer. Take a chance on me. Um, on me, a cosplayer for using one of your 360 wigs. It is gorgeous and totally works for what I'm wanting to use it for, but it also would totally work for everyday wear. And then thank you guys so much because without you, I wouldn't be able to do collaborations like this with Feshfin and get a 360 wig and cry over it because I think I ruined it. But then, haha, turns out I, I, I did it okay. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Feshfin, so much. Check out all their information in the link below. There's some promo codes and stuff like that for you guys to use if you want to get some discounts on their wigs. They also offer other things aside from just 360s. They have lace fronts, other wigs, extensions, all that good stuff. So 10 out of 10 recommend you guys check them out. I'm Nikki. This is Kevin. And I'm Rachel. And Rachel's behind the camera. <laughs> and yeah. So bye. Say bye, Kevin. He wants to go down.